So this is the part two of setting up the environment lighting inside of Unity using Unity's universal render pipeline. And in this part, we are going to be focusing on backlighting to make our environment look even more better. But if you haven't watched my previous video where I showed you how to set up the real time lighting, I suggest you do so before starting this video. So yeah, let's get started. So this is where we left off in the previous video. We have set up all the real time lighting and our scene looks something like this. And now we are ready to bake the lighting in our scene. The first thing we need to do is select all of our lightings. And we are going to change the mode from real time to baked. Or you can just select mixed if you have some moving characters inside of your scene. So yeah, it's totally up to you. So as this scene is completely static, we are going to use the back mode. Alright, and the next thing we need to do is select our reflection prop and do the same with it. Set the type from real time to baked. And we will just uh, bake the reflection separately. Alright, but before baking the light map, make sure that the environment is set to static. So as you can see here, I have, I have marked all of my environment as a static. So make sure you do that as well. Alright, so now we can go to our lighting step and start playing around with the light map settings. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is go to the mix lighting here. Make sure the big global illumination is checked and also we will change the lighting mode from shadow mask to baked indirect as we want to bake the indirect lighting as well. Now let's go to the light map settings. Need to change is the light mapper from progressive CPU to GPU because it's faster. Also let's disable this prioritize view because we don't want constant updates for our light map. We are going to change the Boston's from 2 to 1 for now. Also the light map resolution, I want to keep this to a very low value. Also bump down the light map size here to 512. We'll keep the compressed light map enabled for now. And finally we need to enable the ambient occlusion. Alright, leave the settings as is. We can also change the light map parameter. But for now I'm just gonna keep this at medium. And we are ready to bake our light map. So let's click on generate lighting and it will take a while. Let's wait for it to bake. And here we go. So the lighting is all baked and our environment looks pretty, looks pretty decent but uh, kind of a bit too yellowish for my tests. But the lightings look way more natural than the real time lighting, doesn't it? And now we don't really see the artifacts that we saw in our real time lighting. That's a good thing. But there is still a lot to do. And the first thing I want to do is make sure the scene gets a little less yellowish. For that I'm going to select the uh, MSM material, so the neon material here. Change the intensity to quite a low number, so point, so point 0.2 or maybe point 0.4. Alright. And also we want to disable the reflection probe because we will bake it separately. And now we can just bake the lighting once again. But before that, let's bump up some of the settings here. So the first thing is let's set the bounces to 2. The light map resolution. I think 20 will do just fine. If we just take a look at the texels here. So select the back light map. And here you can see these check marks. So they re represent the size of a texel. So the bigger they are, the lower the quality of the light map will be. And for environment that doesn't have much detail like this one, we can just set side light map resolution to quite a low value. So 15 or 20 will do just fine. So I'm gonna keep it at 20 for now. Also let's map up these light map size to 1024. And we are also going to disable compressed light map. But if you are working on mobile devices, you can just keep it enabled. And also you can bump up the light map parameters to a different quality. So maybe a high quality instead of medium, but I'm gonna stick with medium for now. Alright, and now we are ready to bake the light map once again. And it will take a while, so let's wait it out. 
All right, so the lighting is picked and let's go back to the shaded mode. And as you can see here, the environment starts to look pretty good. But the baking time increased drastically. So as you can see here, it took four minutes and seven seconds to bake the light map with my high quality graphics card, of course. All right, so now it's time to bake the reflections. So let's select the reflection probe and let's enable this. And now let's go down a bit, change the resolution to 1024. Also, we are going to bump up the intensity on our emissive materials. So something like one looks good, I think. You can, of course, play around with it. All right, so let's bake the reflections. Let's wait for it. And here we go. So the reflections are baked once again. And this time they seem to be a little less yellowish than before. And also what we need to do is go to our post process effects and and bump down the intensity to maybe 1.8. Yep, it looks good. So let's try this out. And as you can see the environment appears to be uh, more natural. The lighting seems to be good but we don't actually see some of the reflections on on the floor and for that we will have to bake the lighting once again with the same intensity as before so make sure to keep the intensity as is which is one for now and we can generate the lighting once again and this is how it turns out to be. And you can see all of the reflections on the floor. They look pretty neat. And so yeah, the baked lighting looks way more natural than the real time lighting. As all of the light seems to blend nicely with the environment. And same for all the reflections on the floor or around the environment. As you can see here but you can of course play around with the light map settings to have a better results depending on your environment but yeah that's it for this video i hope you liked it and if you did make sure you hit the subscribe button and i'll see you in the next one